the Reading Bulldogs of the Intercity Baseball League congratulate the 1994 RMHS baseball team led by their captains Tom Fratto and Dan Robinson and Hall of Fame coach Pete Moscarello for an outstanding season. Heading into the 1994 baseball season, the word on the street was the Rockets were not expected to be overpowering in any aspect of the game. But through the first six games, Reading High had more than exceeded those uninspiring expectations as the Rockets sprinted to a 6-0 start while scoring 74 runs and allowing zero. The streak started with an 11-0 win over Wakefield. Opening day starter Tom Fratto allowed just one hit over five innings. The senior co-captain added two hits, drove in two runs, and scored three times. Sophomore and future Hall of Famer Steve Langone was the game two starter against Winchester and Langone picked up where Fratto left off. The right-hander carried a perfect game into the seventh before yielding a two-out single en route to a 12-0 victory over the Sachems. Senior co-captain Dan Robinson powered the offense by going four for four with a home run and five runs batted in. Fratto struck out eight in his second start of the season versus Watertown. The outfield tandem of Chris Foley and Mike Cormio recorded two hits each as the Rockets soared to a 10-0 victory at Morton Field. The fourth game of the season was a highly anticipated matchup against Lexington at Doubleday Field on the grounds of the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. The Rockets' performance that day was one for the ages, recording a 13-0 win over the Minutemen. Tom Fratto's endeavors at the plate were characterized by Coach Pete Moscarello as a Hall of Fame performance. Fratto went four for four and drove in six runs on the strength of three home runs, including a monster shot to the deepest part of the ballpark. Not to be outdone, starter Steve Langone pitched seven innings, striking out 16 and allowing one hit. He also recorded four hits on the day. Next up for the Rockets was a trip to Morelli Field in Melrose to face the Red Raiders. Reading scored five times in the first inning on its way to a 15-0 route, highlighted by a three-run triple by senior Coley Foley. Fratto earned his third victory of the year going five innings, allowing a single hit while fanning 11. After five games, the undefeated Rockets scored 61 runs on 61 hits, while their pitching staff allowed no runs in just nine hits. At Burlington in game six, the Rockets scored 13 runs on 13 hits. Coley Foley went three for three with four RBI, and Langone picked up his third shutout victory of the season. And finally, it happened. After outscoring their opponents by a mind-boggling 74 to nothing, Belmont snapped the Rockets' shutout streak by scoring three runs, but the Rockets won in walk-off fashion. Fratto, who homered earlier in the game, ended the day as he drove in John Whalen with a seventh inning single. Fratto also recorded his fourth mound victory of the season. A workmanlike 5-1 victory over the Tanners in Woven moved the Rockets to 8-0. Langone allowed three hits on his way to win number four. The schedule makers could not have drawn it up any better. Reading was set to face its dreaded rival Stoneham, who were locked with the Rockets in a first place tie at 8-0. In a battle of mound aces at Morton Field, Peter Fisher was dominant for Stoneham, spinning a complete game one hitter as the Spartans defeated the Rockets 8-0. Fratto suffered his first loss of the season. A 5-1 win over Winchester got RMHS back on track. Chris Donegan went 3-3 and drove in two runs, while Langone recorded his third one hitter of the season. After flirting with a no hitter earlier in the year, Fratto got his no-no against Wakefield. Ironically, the Warriors scored twice in the sixth. With the bases loaded, Fratto picked the tying run off third to end the threat. The Rockets held on for a 3-2 victory. Getting his first start of the season, number three starter John Whalen took full advantage of the opportunity with a six inning, one hit, 10 strikeout performance. The Rockets scored a single run in the first on Fratto's fourth home run of the season, and that's all the offense Whalen and the Rockets would need as they pounded Watertown 10 to nothing. Reading's pitching depth was again on display as Mike Flint went to the mound against Burlington. All the senior right-hander did was scatter seven hits while shutting out the Red Devils over six innings. Reading went on to defeat Burlington seven to one. 
Facing Lexington for the second time this season, the result was the same, but the game was far more competitive than the contest in Cooperstown. Lexington cut Redding's lead to 2-1 with a single run in the sixth inning off Steve Langone, and in the seventh, Lexington threatened, but the future Hall of Fame pitcher showed his mound presence. With a runner on third and one out, the Minutemen botched a suicide squeeze attempt. Dan Robinson tagged the helpless runner out at home plate. Langone then closed the inning in the game with a strikeout, securing a 2-1 victory. Reading in its 13-1 record hosted Melrose at Washington Park. Fratto towed the rubber in a key game in the Rockets' drive to a Middlesex League title. The right-hander recorded another complete game victory, allowing one run and one hit, as Reading defeated Melrose 4-1. With a rematch versus Stornham in sight, the Rockets took on Woburn in a trap game. Trailing 5-3 in the bottom of the seventh, RMHS scored three times and walked off with a 6-5 win. Fratto tied the game with a single. He promptly stole second, and with two outs, Chris Dunnigan blasted a game-winning shot to left. Now, it was time for the rematch between Redding and Stoneham, this time at Stoneham High School. At stake for the Rockets, a chance to tie the Spartans for the league lead. It took nine innings to decide this one, and great pitching, great defense, and clutch plays were on display. Peter Fisher, who would later play at Alabama, and Langone, later headed to BC, each threw complete games. They allowed a combined nine hits and a single run. In the fifth inning, Matt Stinson, a defensive replacement in right field, made a key play cutting down a Spartan runner at home plate to preserve the shutout. In the ninth, Langone started the inning with an infield hit. Donegan sacrificed him to second and enter Coley Foley. After a collision at first base with Stoneham's T.J. Shee in the bottom of the eighth, Foley left the game with a knee injury. But Coley would not be denied an opportunity to put his mark on this game. The right-handed hitter was 0-2 for 2 in the game when he stepped to the plate and delivered what turned out to be the game-winning run with a solid single to center field. The victory not only gave Redding a share of first place, it also snapped Stoneham's 35-game Middlesex League winning streak. Needing a win to share the Middlesex League title, Redding's next game was on the road versus Belmont. Dunnigan recorded a double and a triple in the same inning as the Rockets scored 10 runs on 10 hits and pounded the Marauders 10 to nothing. The Rockets finished the season by participating in the Wilmington Tournament. Getting his first start of the season, senior right-hander Matt Stinson put his name in the record books. Red, as he was known to his teammates, recorded what many to believe was the first perfect game in RMHS history. 21 Wilmington Wildcats up and 21 down. One day later, Langone threw a one-hit shutout against Northeast Regional as Reading won six to nothing. During the tournament, Reading pitchers faced 43 batters and allowed one hit. The Rockets finished the regular season at 19 and one and drew the number one seed in the MIAA Division II North Tournament and received a bye. The Witches of Salem High School were Reading's first opponent in the postseason. Mike Flint got Reading on the board with a solo home run in the third. Later that inning, Dan Robinson drove in two runs with a double to left. Langone gave up one run over seven innings and the Rockets defeated Salem 4-1. Reading, now winners of 12 in a row, faced Lincoln Sudbury, the number five seed in Wilmington in the sectional semifinals. Redding sent Tom Fratto to the mound in search of his ninth win of the season. Fratto pitched with a heavy heart that day due to a loss of a close relative, but he showed great mental toughness as he willed the Rockets to a 4-1 victory. The win earned RMHS a spot in the Division II North sectional finals against Stoneham. The rubber game featured Peter Fisher versus Steve Langone the same starters who took to the mound in Redding's thrilling 1-0 win weeks earlier. Unfortunately for Redding, this one was a repeat of the first Redding Stoneham matchup. Fisher was again outstanding. He allowed one hit and struck out 12 as the Spartans handled the Rockets 8-0. The loss ended Redding's season at 21-2, but what a season it was. Redding outscored its opponents 150-36. 10 of the team's 21 wins were by shutout. 
The team ERA was 1.12. The individual awards and accomplishments rolled in as well. Tom Fratto led the team in eight offensive categories, including batting average with 375, home runs with five, and RBIs with 24. Chris Dunnigan batted 318 and led the team with seven doubles. On the mound, Steve Langone went 9-1 with an ERA of 0.69, while striking out 75 in 70 in two-third innings. Tom Fratto went 8-1 with an ERA of 1.51. Dan Robinson, Chris Dunnigan, Steve Langone, and Tom Fratto were named Middlesex League All-Stars. In addition to the aforementioned players, Chris Foley and Coley Foley were selected to the Middlesex League All-Star game. Steve Langone was chosen as the Daily Times Chronicle Pitcher of the Year. Tom Fratto was named the DTC Player of the Year, as well as a Boston Herald and Boston Globe All-Scholastic. So it is with great pride that the RMHS Athletic Hall of Fame welcomes the 1994 baseball team into its induction class of 2013.